Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a tricky one, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 10, NASDAQ is up 29, s and is up 1. Uh, we're in the green, folks, and it's pretty amazing uh, what this market did, climbing back from uh, the lows out there today. I'll go through the rest of it, and we'll go come right back into that uh, S&P and the NASDAQ. Gold. Gold contract down $39.30, traded 1755 an ounce. You got silver down $0.91, cents, $22.89 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $72.58 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 10 ticks, trade 133.02. 30 year off 15 at 163.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up by 340 ticks, trading 92.890. Euro at 117, yen at 109.73, and the British pound at 168 to 1, 168, 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line is that we're going to have, get higher and we're going to have lighter volume. That's how this baby's shaking out right now. Uh, we're up 29 cents in the SPY. Uh, we've come down with uh, 78 million. You're going into uh, 89 million. And what's going to get really intriguing here right now is this. Did we make it yet? 448.41. 448.31. And 448.31. 892. Okay, we haven't made it yet. What I'd like to see here on this S&P is actually get into, see the last three days, the highs of the last three days, the lowest high is 448.34. It'd be really nice to get it over that number and close under that number. Then you'd also have another failure on price and a failure on volume. Right now, you're just going higher and you're going higher with lighter volume. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs out here. We have inside the three Qs. Excuse me, folks. I'm ready to sneeze. <laughs> The three Qs right now up 61 cents. You've done 24 million shares. They have peaked their head up, I believe. Yeah, they, okay, so this is cool. So the Qs have peaked their head up above the highs of the last two days, and we'll see whether they can basically, basically stay there. The number to keep your eye on on the Qs is gonna be 378.61 coming into the close. Um, we're not gonna do, no. Yeah. No, we're not going to do 41 million. We'll probably do about 34 million. So that's going to be the number whether it can hold on price as we get in there. And I'll show you intraday if you want to see um, a pretty clean ABC structure on the way up intraday. If you do trade intraday, uh, this thing was in spades, man. So you can see at uh, 150, 150 you had a big expansion of volume. You took out a B point intraday. It was a 2.8 A to B equals C to D. 376.63 was your B point. Your A point was down to 374. So you get two bucks. You add two bucks onto that C point. 
which gets you uh, 378.11. And right now you're 378.86. So, uh, and then we got another, we, it, they just goosed it over the highs of yesterday. So we'll see where this baby's going to go. Bottom line is that uh, they have it going. There's no doubt about that. Gold, gold contract. They smoked the gold contract. Uh, dollar is down, but uh, they had this thing uh, going south in a monster way um, all day long. And now, you're coming down, and you're still coming down into the last low, and you do have light of volume. That being said, we haven't held price at all. You had an intraday ABC structure on the way down inside the gold market with a price projection of 1757 Right now, we're at 1754 We actually hit 1745 So when you're doing ABC structures, you can have a 1 to 1, 1 to 0.382, 1 to 5, 0, 1 to 618. Gold does like to do more than a 1 to 1. In this particular case, it did slightly more than one. Uh, Volume-wise, it, 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 bottom line, you're coming into the last low. Uh, 238,000 contracts out here today with 290. So bottom line is that uh, you still have lighter contract volume, but what you haven't done is that you haven't rejected lower price at these lows. Silver. This is a silver market goes south big time, 90, 92 cents. Uh, same type of setup, meaning that you're coming into the last get-go on the way down. Uh, and in this particular case, we're dealing with a different contract. So you are dealing with more volume. If we go over to the SLV, this is a way that would, would, if you're playing uh, and looking at the silver market in general, um, you go to the SLV, it's going to give you a better indication of, okay, volume, price. SLV, bottom line, blew out this low. And first, let me do this and see. What I'm going to do first is this. I want to see the last retracement. Was it more than a 0.618? Oh, look at this. It was exactly a 0.618. So it could have still been an ABC down. Okay, so if you do more than a 0.618 retracement on the way up or the way down, then you can't have an ABC down. That particular case, just it was just a 0.618. So this is... Let's see, 24 bucks, almost 21, it's almost three bucks. Oh, is that 21.91? Yeah, almost three bucks, which gets you 21 bucks. And we hit, uh, this is, yeah, so this, this just did an ABC down. Yeah, in one day, that's, that's the bottom line. We put this, let's put this on a weekly for a second. See what we're coming into. Okay, so you're coming, we're at 2120. This is the SLV we're looking at. Um, 2060. Well, we're, we're ready to jump over the cliff here, man. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Uh, 20, yeah, 2060 and 2045. Those are the numbers to keep your eye on. That's the, that's the bottom line. Notes and bonds. They still want higher price. This is going to be wild watching this note and bond market. What you had with the note and bond market, they pull back. Uh, you had some volume in the pullback, but not enough volume to break the lows. You know, and we didn't even actually hit the swing low. Uh, what you had here, you're coming into 2.2 uh, million contracts. We've done 1.3. The low there at the two point is 132.25. We did 132.30. And good old King Dollar. Um, King dollars over the highs of the last few days. Um, it got to uh, 92, 964, and 92, 885 is the number to keep your eye on. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 6, NASDAQ uh, up uh, 28, S&P is a flat. And uh, a lot of good questions out here. One of the biggest ones that we're all asking ourselves is that what caused the negative action in the gold and silver markets today? Now, we always have plenty of negative action in the gold and silver markets, folks, when, when the dollar goes up. But today, there's no two ways about it, man. They smoke these stocks in a monster way. Uh, when the S&P was basically down, well, let's see where the S&P went. So the S&P got to a price point uh, the, of uh, 44.33. So right now, you're like 40 points above it. Uh, when we were at those lows, it doesn't matter what gold stock you bring up, they were selling these things all day in a monster way. Uh, they were breaking out lows. It's a lot of selling. I mean, and, you know, it's, uh, I, I wish I could give you a coherent answer. Um, the closest I can get to it is that that's what they do due to the gold market. I mean, that's, that's, I've seen it before. Um, the real question is, is that, uh, is there going to be a few more days of it? That's, that's, that's the thing that's up in the air here. If I look at Newmont first, you know, Newmont's coming into, so the, the strength on Newmont starts at like 48, and you're at 55. Now, the top of that range is 57. That's where we broke topside. The two swing points is that you have one swing point of 57.33, uh, 52.33, rather. Uh, you've come into that with tremendously lighter volume, and I mean, you know, you're talking like in a monster way. On a weekly, we were down there with uh, 51 million. Uh, thus far, you've only, done nine, you've only done 19 million, and you got one day left. So uh, you can see how that baby's going. There's, there's less folks selling, no doubt, but the price hasn't held. That's, that's the bottom line. If we go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX, what do you have inside the GDX? GDX came down to 30.59. Your swing point is 30.68. Um, and this is going to hold price. So this is going to get intriguing to see that, okay, um, you know, are we going to get something off of this? Meaning, are you going to get a bounce off of this? What are you going to get off of this? Um, you know, the, the swing point got broken. You're going to close above the swing. And 152 million, we get one day left. Yeah, you only, you're doing 93 million and you're going into 152. So that makes a difference. And we average about, well, it's going to do 38 million today. It's going to have 152. Yeah, you're still going to have to do 40 million tomorrow. Um, so that also 
has rejected lower price at this point, does have light of volume. The real kicker is, is you're going to get a sign of strength because that's what we're going to need out of this market is the sign of strength. There's, there's no two ways about it. Um, the, okay, let's see. It's a question, Tom, on a gap on Friday morning S&P and then sell off before the close. Oh, I see. Okay. So the question, next question is, is that do you think you do a gap up on Friday morning and sell off? Listen, you know, that's, it, anything's possible. Um, I, I don't see that. The reason I don't see that right now is that with, what's happening here is that we didn't make it. Let's see, 448. Oh, this is good. We did make it. Okay. So we made it to 448.36. And if we close below 448.34, that's going to be a failure on price and a failure on volume. We did 59 million right now. We'll probably do 69 million, but you'd have to do 78 million and you'd have to hold price. And right now, it doesn't look like it wants to do that. Um, I don't think we're going to get uh, much selling. Uh, what I do think we're going to get as we get closer to 4 o'clock, you're going to get a fast little down leg here. And the reason I'm saying that is that when you finish an ABC structure up intraday, most times coming into the close here, they, you know, you basically get the pullback because you finished exactly the pattern that, that was set up and how it was set up. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at uh, a couple more gold stocks here. We'll take a look at Barrick Gold next. Barrick Gold comes down hard. That comes down to 1840. See, some of these, man, this is just amazing. It's, 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 it's it, I've, I've tried to figure it out even today. You know, is it a couple of funds that just say, listen, we're going to sell every gold stock there is and jam it. And listen, that's how that's how you can basically get lower prices. There's no doubt. Now, in GOLD, uh, this is actually not a bad setup. We came back and we tested the last swing low. Now, the last swing low on a weekly at 128 million. That number was uh, 1860, I believe. 1840. So we hit 1840 today. We are at 78 million with one day left. And yeah, you're not going to do that volume. You're not going to do 50 million in one day. So thus far, you get a rejection of lower price. But when it's set up like this, meaning that you're only 25 cents off the low, that is not a big deal. Uh, you know, so the, the bottom line is that you need this to rally more than down 71 cents. Now, if we're only down 41 cents at the close, that would be a, that would be a big cool. That would be cool. Um, and then we get another question with the, let's see, Tom, do you think some big houses were reducing gold exposure or big houses raising cash or something next week? Now, they just sell it. I mean, most, I would say that most of the time, just like we like buying gold, or I like buying gold, there's plenty of traders that like selling it. There's no doubt about it. We have plenty of traders, tigers, that love selling it, okay? Um, and in fact, uh, Robert from Kansas City, I'm sure he's done well because I heard him calling Steve's show two days ago, and inside the den, I was actually elated on the call because he was so bearish. I was like, okay, this is what I needed. Um, and guess what? He was right. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So, you know, when you start selling it and you're on the right-hand side of the sell, uh, the bottom line, the market's very small. And it doesn't take much to move it down as it doesn't take much to move it higher in a big way also. We're going to take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. The strength out here today is uh, you get Dexcom is up 2.4%, uh, $13, a line my technology is up 2.3%, uh, uh, $16, taken away from it. Pace cars off 1.8%, Intuitive Surgical is down one2 and American Electric is down one2 Now, check this out, folks, because this is going to be, um, this is going to, we're not going to hear the last of this, okay? And I suspect when you hear these numbers, okay, um, this hasn't affected our markets yet, but my take is that it is going to affect our markets. This might be part of the correction that we're going to be in the middle of. And what you have happening is this. Evergrande, okay, is a Chinese builder. 
that is in monster trouble. Now, now listen to this number, folks, because the real kicker on this is will the Chinese government bail this company out? And let me, let me I'm just going to read you this first, because once you kind of understand this, it's like, whoa, man. Okay, so in China right now, you get a, a lot of people that are protesting. And what they're protesting about is this. So the way that Evergrande has worked, as well as other developers in China, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the story as soon as we come back, because it's a really cool story, man. Uh, and you won't, well, we'll take it step by step. Dow Industrials right now up 11, NASDAQ is up 23, S&P's a flat, stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 14. NASDAQ is up 15. S&P is up, uh, down uh, three and a half. Okay, so we're, we're talking about the Chinese building market. And there's this company, folks, okay? Uh, let me... I'm going to put this up so if you're watching Tiger TV, you can kind of see the story because there's, there's a couple parts of this that are pretty intense. So I've been watching this market as thousands of millions of us have, you know, in general, okay, the last 20 years. And first you had, you had cities that were built that, you know, folks are always saying, hey, this thing is going to end. 
because they're building cities and no one is there. Well, the bottom line is that the cities that they did build, there's plenty of people that came there, they end up being a success. There's no doubt about that, okay? I was there, I saw it, okay? So that's real. What's also real is this, is that the way that the development business works in China is that if you let's say, let's picture you're buying a house. Well, when you're buying the house, these guys get monster deposits, right? And there's no regulation. The developer can use the funds in order to build. And then on top of that, right, there's another deal that the developers have uh, in, in a monster way. And what they do is this. They just basically sell notes. This is almost on an unregulated market also. Um, they sell notes and they pay off the notes. Now, if things are going great, that's great. Now, these notes are not secured by real estate. That's, that's the mind blow, okay? They've always been, they've always worked until they don't. So picture this. Evergrande right now, this is what they have. They have 70,000 investors, and that, we're talking about small investors just like you and I, okay? Across the, not the government, across the China in general. And then they have a million homeowners that they have their deposits and they don't have a house to live in. Now check it out. This is, this is how big Evergrande is. Evergrande right now has unfinished properties three-fourths of the size of Manhattan. Okay, so I don't have the floor space in Manhattan off the top of my head. I don't think anyone does. Well, no, the, the Corcoran would Corcoran and, and Manhattan would have it. But picture every one of those high rises and then picture all the, the floor space. Well, picture that one company has three fourths of that space and it's in a halt. Okay. So now the bottom line is that what has happened is that this I think it's 300 billion they're in debt. Let me see. One second. Okay. Fire sales. Fire sales are already basically happening in the market, squeezing other developers, rippling through the supply chain, okay? But for what could really happen in China right now, it it hasn't come down. And, and what I mean by that is this. I was looking, I actually started looking at these bonds to buy these bonds a couple of weeks ago. And I'm saying, man, okay, you know, the Chinese government on a continual basis, folks, has come in and saved the developers over and over again because when you get a spread like this, the GDP of China, I think either it's, it's, it's a monster number, is dependent on developers, period. Okay. That being said, the bottom line goes like this, that what has happened is that protests have started over there, okay? It's just going to be one of these deals that how far is she going to let this basically thing get out of control? Because it's out of control. Meaning that they're never going to be able to pay this money back. Yeah, it's, it's 300, okay, it's 300 billion dollars that we know that they owe. Okay, who, who knows how much more? Because what also happens in China, like those 70,000 investors, you know, that's still like a, it's not an under the table market, okay, but it's not a regulated market. So you don't even know how much money the 70,000 investors really have given to Evergrande. That being said, you can see that it really hasn't made a run yet in an incredible way. So the real kicker here is going to be, does she come in in the middle of this and say, okay, we're taking over the company, you know, and because they've done it before, okay? I remember the uh, big insurance company they took over. Um, that was a fraud, you know. That, it doesn't look like this thing's a fraud. It just looked like that they just allowed, you know, the, the company to keep basically borrowing money, borrowing money, borrowing money. Um, and we'll see where that shakes out because when you look at this company and then you look at what could actually happen, the, the, the lower that she lets this thing go, the more contagion is going to take place because they are so large. You know, and so this is going to, this, this really hasn't hit their stock market yet. Yeah, watch this, HSI. If we look at the HSI, it's down 
but it's not down uh, like as much as it could be. I think we just we went down 365 last night. Let's see. Yeah. Put this on a weekly. No, I'll put it on a monthly. Yeah, you can see, I mean, you know, you, you get a high volume low that wants to go after 21,000 or 24,000. This is not down. My point is, it's not down as much as it can be down. And um, I expect you're going to see more fireworks over there. Uh, I'm definitely not looking at these bonds anymore. Well, you know what ended up happening, actually? As soon as she actually came out and started going after the Las Vegas casinos, I realized that, hey, listen, man, don't ever invest in China again, period. It's not even close. So the real kicker here is going to be the, the correlation of how far they let that go down and where the contagion is going to come. And the reason I'm bringing this up is this is that 1998, everyone, uh, no one actually, was worried about the contagion in Indonesia. And what had happened is this, is that it was kind of, it wasn't the same, okay? But the bottom line is that between Indonesia, they were over their head, I don't think it was in the, the real estate business, they were over their head in something. Bottom line, um, that went from there to Russia, and as soon as it hit Russia, that was the long-term capital, okay? So it went from Indonesia to Russia and then hit us. Now, that took six weeks. And within about, like, by the fourth week, Wall Street in general start, like, uh-oh, hold it. This might really hit us. Well, it really, hit, it really did hit us, okay? There was six weeks of selling in our market that was pretty intense. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up was twofold. Number one, that we got to watch out what is actually there because there's plenty of American companies that own plenty of Chinese companies. And the correlation, that's where the correlation comes in. The correlation doesn't come in on what's happening in China. The correlation comes in about how much money is from the U.S. that is in people's IRAs that funds have in China. That's what really comes in. So as the Realty companies come down, if they don't save them right now, uh, let's say the next week, week and a half, as that contagion takes place, then it comes across, and it's coming across as to funds that are actually owning it, then you get a correction here because of the amount of selling that's going on. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow down two. NASDAQ is up 23. S&Ps are off uh, two and a half. And uh, the next thing to look out for, folks, is going to be the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling, uh, we'll see whether there's going to be a brawl on the debt ceiling. Uh, and what is the date on the debt ceiling. So we'll, we'll, the, the way it normally works, folks, is that you have the debt ceiling come up, the Treasury turns around and does a bunch of tricks, uh, accounting tricks to make it go a few more months. And, um, you know, then they basically have to uh, cut to the chase. And cutting to the chase is the aspect of uh, where is the money to get paid, okay? So right now, what we have is that, I don't have how, how many more weeks this is. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see uh, how this sh shakes out. McConnell is out here saying that Democrats uh, basically have everything they need to uh, up the debt ceiling. Well, the, the reality is, is that uh, Democrats aren't the only ones that spend money. <laughs> um, you know, uh, the tax break in itself. What has happened, let's put it this way, what has happened in the past is that both parties normally get together to vote for this because they both spend money. In this particular case, it doesn't look to me like that's going to happen. Uh, my point here for the markets, the closer that it gets to that it's not happening, the more volatility you're going to see in the marketplace. Okay, I don't think we're ever not going to pay the bills, but what you are going to have is that people are going to definitely get more nervous as it gets close to these bills getting done. The, Fed, the federal workers themselves, they will definitely get nervous. Um, so we'll see where that's going to shake out. But that's on the table right now because uh, the, this morning McConnell come out and said, hey, listen, man, um, you know, the bottom line, you can run it through right now, just run it up and do it. Um, they don't want to do it by themselves because then what ends up happening is that uh, politically later they say, okay, the Democrats ran it up, you know, cases that all these politicians run it up. The thing, you know the thing that is amazing to me is that it's a continual basis and that doesn't matter what it's Democrats or Republicans, man. They all love spending money, man. That's the real bottom line. And then every time that you try to stop spending money, you know, the, the lobbyists get involved and more money gets spent anyway. So it's, it's, it is what it is, man. That, that's the real bottom line. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here today, we take a look at inside of the marketplace. Yeah, because it's not theirs. That's, there's no doubt, man. They're spending something that, that isn't theirs, and um, they're bringing it back to some of them. In some cases, they, they're no doubt bringing it back to their, you know, own constituents. Oh, look at that. I'm in. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So, oh, this is pretty wild here first. L look at this. I just brought this up. I brought this up in China, though. I didn't realize I was still on China. And you can see the highest volume equities here. Look at this. The, the highest volume equities, you had Bank of China, because the banks over there, you know, the banks are holding all the debt. Okay, let's just look at this for a second, okay? Um, you have Bank of China, China Construction, Petro China, Sands China, yeah, that would make sense, China Petroleum, Ping, 
Alibaba. Yeah, there's not that many developers over there. Not that many banks either. Let's bring this back to the S&P and take a look at it. So inside the S&P today, we have Apple down 29 cents. Freeport McMoran, that's getting smoked. That's down 250. You get gold down. You get uh, copper down. We'll go back to the copper market in a second, too. You get Comcast up 56 cents, but that got smoked two days ago. Um, Microsoft's up 17 cents. You got Tesla up 294. Uh, T-Mobile is up two. Look at that, T-Mobile. Let's look at that. What is going on there? Hmm. That's not a bad deal. Um, oh, I know. Palatia. Pal this baby's on ABC up. Yeah, take a look at this. Plantier, rather. Plantier, this is taking out a B point. It has some juice behind it. So, I think it's actually taking out a swing high. Oh, I see what it's doing. Yeah, no, that's 2750. Yeah. So, 17. That's 10 bucks. That's an ABC up to 30. Well, it's almost there. It's 28, 2875. You get volume inside it. And, you know, this is an equity that once, yeah, once it gets to 30 bucks, man, 45 is game again. So let's see what the news is on this. What, what is happening here? Not much. This is just, uh, there's, there's a great story um, in the Wall Street Journal, actually, about Plantair and Peter Thiel, um, about how this company went from nothing to having monster contracts with the Defense Department. Uh, do you have a chance to read it? Was it, it was, I read it two days ago, and it's like insane. It just go, it, it, what the story is about, basically, is the MO for Plantair is that they're, you know, Cloak and dagger, uh, no one really knows what they do. Um, that's the MO that I understand that is out here. When you read the story, what the story's talking about is, yes, they do business with the CIA, do business with the government, but they're saying that the piece of software is a bunch of crap when they started, okay? And, you know, it is, it's, it's basically surveillance programs like they have in China. That's the, that's the real bottom line. They're scraping Facebook, they're scraping Instagram, they're scraping everything. Uh, but when you read the story, you're going to crack up, man, because it's like it's a good story, but they explain <laughs> that uh, they had nothing, but what they did have is that they had great lobbyists that started pushing the government and pushing the right buttons, and all of a sudden they went from no contracts well let's go see what they have right now because this this is like bizarre when i read this it's like man the amount of money once once you are in the green checks folks the amount of money that our taxpayer money that goes uh into some of these programs is sick okay so look at this so five years ago they did 595 million now this year they do 1.5 billion and out of that out of the 1.5 billion uh, 600, well, no, this would be last year because, if, yeah, this is broken down. It's only 1.1 million. Okay, so this is last year numbers. Out of 1.1 billion last year, the government gave them 610 million. And then commercial, 482 million. I, I suspect half that commercial also is going to be, uh, bottom line, large companies that are billing it out to someone else. Well, that's the United States, uh, that's uh, 65, well, no. That's half of their business. Rest of the world, 289. But bottom line is that uh, you get the gist of it. You get the right lobbyist. Once you're on the gravy train, you're on the gravy train in a huge way. Um, you know, you're talking about big accounts that come in and, uh, you know, there's, there's no watchdogs. The watchdogs inside the government programs are a joke. There's, there's no doubt about it. There's uh, in spades. We go take a look at the volume characteristics. Actually, let's go take a look at the, I want to see if the Qs are also going to fail. The SPY is going to fail out here today. The Qs, they, they don't look like they're failing just yet. The Qs have to close 378.90. Well, yeah, you close into 378.61. You know, that's still, it's, it's subtle. Uh, but the bottom line, you got above it, you're going to close below it, so it looks like it's going to have lighter volume. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 35. NASDAQ is up 19. S&P is uh, off 6.5. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, you really, you know, yeah, the market's flat, uh, but thus far, you rejected the lower price out here today. I mean, that's, Jared, that's what we did. Coming into a Friday, we'll see, we'll see where this is going to uh, shake out. Uh, we look at the SPY. The SPY's done $66 million. You're going into 83 so that's tell, still telling me we're uh, in a correction already. Subtle, but you're in that correction. Uh, NDX 100, same type of setup. Uh, it would be interesting with the, with the NDX, because the NDX did get the 378.90, and uh, you're at 18 right now. So any anything under, let me get this right, 378.61. Yeah, anything under 378.61 is still saying a lower price is coming at you. So we'll see where this is going to shake out tomorrow. Uh, note and bond markets still want higher price. Uh, pretty amazing, actually. We're at 1.334 uh, on the 10-year. That's still very inexpensive. Uh, in a 10-year, no doubt. A couple of the king dogs out here, like we take a look at Amazon. Amazon right now, uh, up 10 bucks. You're trading at uh, 34.86. I know we're going to start hearing a lot more. I mean, we know that there's bottlenecks beyond belief. And it seems that a lot of the bottlenecks, actually, folks, for the container business here, you know, you have, the, you have, a, you have a setup in China that it's somewhat problematic, but not really. They dig. Where our problem comes in the U.S. is that there's so many 
containers that came in simultaneously that the ports, our ports, can't handle the volume that's coming in. That's, what, that's what's also going on. Uh, I know one of the Tigers put something in the den today, like there's uh, 60 boats uh, outside of L.A. right now, Long, uh, Long Beach. Um, that's a lot of containers, man. Uh, most Each container boat, I think, carries at least about 10,000 containers. Pretty wild. Always remember, folks, when the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Please come back and visit us tomorrow. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.